What's up, everybody? We are back at it in Lone Echo 2. We are picking up right where we left off. Back in the past, we did our time jump, and now we are Delta 13, aka Jack. But to them, we're Delta 13. Apollo said we shouldn't get too comfortable with the relationship with them and all that because we're going to have to go back to our time. But we're right here in the middle of this war, and trying to help out our Delta squad. So, let's do it, man. We're going to find the undetonated torpedoes that Apollo, we need. Apollo, if Delta squad was not able to safely perform their assessment, how will we collect our data on the base genetic material? Right. Unlike the rest of Delta squad, you have my assistance. I will bring the entirety of my electronic countermeasure suite to bear against the torpedoes. I am certain I will be able to disable their proximity detonators. Fair enough. I suppose enough. an advanced tactical AI is quite capable of tipping the scales. Indeed. To that end, I shall now reconfigure your threat scanner for inspecting the torpedo incubators. Nice. Stand by. I'm assuming this is the only way I won't get killed. Detonated. A biomass torpedo, already detonated. That's detonated. Is there any value in scanning it? The anomaly. Negative. Dr. Harlan has already Fish. gleaned as much as possible from such specimens. Alright. I guess I'm going the right way. Shields at 95%. Yeah, got it. There's a bunch of uh, torpedoes here. Torpedo. Apollo, I've located a torpedo. Is this close enough to scan? Unfortunately, no. We need to reach the forward end of the torpedo where the Shit. base genetic material is housed. Are you ready to begin? Let's do it. Yes. Interfacing now. Whoa. This is more complex than I have. Apollo? The torpedo's defense protocols have activated. Oh, it has locked the incubator and is attempting to power its main drive. It's beginning launch procedures. I will stall for as long as possible. What do I do? I'm opening access hatches on the front end. The manual overrides within them should trigger a maintenance mode. Override activated. Perfect. Take care of the one on the opposite side as well. Second override activated. Well done. Done. The launch procedure is still online. Shit. Perhaps we can overheat the main drive. Enabling maintenance mode gave us access to the torpedo's cooling cells. Remove them. The cells are locked behind protective housing. Lower it. One more. Cells removed. Perfect. You will need to remove the second array on the opposite side as well. Additional cells removed. The drive is beginning to work. But the launch sequence is still active. What the hell? You must resort to brute force. Destroy the drive. Jack, the launch procedure is nearing completion. Where's the drive? Jack, it's launching. Get clear of the torpedo. Shields at 95 percent. Shields at 50 percent. All right, that's fun. All right, so I stayed along this. Did I drop down? I think I did.
Wait, don't tell me that one's going. Shields at 95%. Nothing. Where the hell did it go? I now have the beacon powered. Unfortunately, the range is being severely limited by radiation and interference from the anomaly. I will attempt to boost the signal, though success appears unlikely. Copy that, Delta 6. 13 Net out. 5%. The pulses are becoming more regular. We should hurry. Here we go. Shields at ninety-five percent. Is this one? Incubator located. Are you ready to begin? Yes. Yes. Let's do this shit. I'm in. My countermeasures are holding, but you'll need to trigger the maintenance mode immediately. The manual overrides should be exposed at the forward end. One down. Excellent. Now for the second one. Maintenance mode activated. Indeed. The cooling cells are now exposed. Remove them to trigger an overheat. Where are they? The cells can't be removed without lowering their housing first. It's upside down. You need to remove all the cells to trigger an overheat. Cooling cell array clear. On to the second one. Cells clear. The overheat process has initiated. The drive housing is opening. Destroy the main drive. Where? The launch sequence is nearly complete. Main drive destroyed. Launch sequence averted. That nice. finally did it. I am able to unlock the incubator now. Nice. And we should do so quickly. It appears we may not have much time. Incubator oh. exposed. Excellent. We should begin the scan immediately. Scan. Oh. Apollo? Apollo. Printing now. It should not be much longer. Hurry up, bro. Just a moment longer. Come on, Apollo. Hurry up. You're taking a very long time, buddy. Apollo. Data secured. Now well what? Well done, Jack. Now what? I suppose now we should simply wait for the anomaly's collapse. I believe so, yes. Great. It does appear to be fairly unstable at this Jesus. point. I estimate no more than a few minutes remain. Um. The anomaly is going to close any moment now. Preparing for return displacement. Yep. Jump imminent. Here we go. Uh, Apollo? Jack, are you here as well? Yeah. Why are we still here? I am uncertain. Great. Our plan was developed under the requirement that the anomaly's collapse would return us to 2537. Had this outcome appeared likely, I would have developed a contingency. Uh, yeah. Do we have an alternative means of returning? Given the limited resources available no. to us here, no, not this that I know of. Assessment complete. Well done. Unfortunately, our lack of extended range Come communication on. leaves us unable to deliver your work to Titan Command. Therefore, we must enact a message in the portal protocol. Report back to me in the activation bay so that we may discuss the details. Jack, assisting Delta 6 may be our best solution at this point. Great. Both of Delta Squad's objectives are still viable, though unlikely. The radiation may subside in time for the beacon to warn. 
And if it doesn't, then we follow protocol. What's that? A message and a bottle of protocol. Shields at 95%. Alright. Let's let our shield get up. stuck here. Apollo, it's your fault if we do. Shields at 95%. Shields at 50%. Whoa. That's some bullshit. No. Alright. Jack, we should discuss our next steps with Delta-6. Yeah, I got it, dude. Here I come, Delta Six. Coming in hot, girl. Cube set. What's up, bro? What's this? The score. Liv and I use this to tally our scores. It appears you took winning quite seriously. 23 to 11 was a decisive victory. Technically, the game is not over. Hmm. She still has time for a comeback. What game was that? Alright, cube set. 13, rendezvous at my position. I don't have anything to scan it. Let's go. There she goes. 13, you've returned. I Let did. Let know when you are ready to commence. Commence what? Let's begin. Very well. Your new shell is right over there, awaiting your transfer. Nice. My new shell. Correct. Protocol dictates we should place the assessment data in the most secure storage solution available. Tier 6 or higher. That Series 11 shell should do nicely. That should make waiting for the Ithaca far simpler. Understood, so I still have guns? I will transfer when ready. Acknowledged. You may open the activation pod via the console over there. Wait, am I still... I will attempt further optimization of the beacon in the meantime. Do I still have a gun? Uh, I don't want to give this up. It would appear the activation bay, though now somewhat separated from the bridge, survived as well. Alright. Transfer. Damn it. Initiate through your arm computer when you're ready. Transferring into this shell appears to be our best means of securing the data. Alright. I'm gonna miss you, gun. Hey. Hi. Transfer appears complete. Please confirm, 13. Affirmative, Delta-6. Transfer complete. Acknowledged. I'm in a cannonball. You are now integrated into the activation bay's power grid. Nice. I have connected to a mobile reactor. It should provide ample power for both you and the beacon, especially once you've engaged your hibernation protocol. My I will what? do my best to keep you and the power supply safe. Acknowledged. Delta-6, will you let me know if the anomaly reappears? Peculiar. They're prudent. Very well. Initiate hibernation when ready. I've set the protocol for timed disengagement so that we may awaken for the Ithaca's approximate arrival. Excellent. It is unlikely anyone else will arrive in the meantime. Indeed. Indeed. Ready when you are, Jack. I don't want... Good luck, Delta-13. Optimism acknowledged. 
Gesture recognition successful. I am optimistic as well. Your continued optimism exceeds protocol. Peculiar. Your continued optimism exceeds protocol. Peculiar. Night night. Apollo. Apollo. And three suspended power mode. What? Delta 6, this is Delta 13. What is your status? Delta, Delta 6. 6, status. Oh no. I'm not picking them up on sensors either. No. However, there is a high gain broadcast coming through. What? From the Ithaca. I'll patch it in. Play it. Six. The vessel is passing by on its way to Earth. There it is. Then, as anticipated, the beacon has failed. Effectively, we are witnessing the origin of the biomass yep. outbreak. Correct. This does appear to be the final moment from which the ensuing series of events could be changed. A tipping point, if you will. Still no signal from Delta-6? I'm afraid not, no. Jesus. Without their assistance, delivering our data on the base genetic material is far less tenable. How so? Simply put, we are back to not knowing what happens next. Right. An Atlas team could arrive within the hour, or within a year. CubeSat. Or never. Precisely. CubeSat. Delta-6 would have been able to assist such a team in finding us while we're in hibernation. But without that, we must err on the side of extreme caution. Uh... Then, we should focus on returning to live. Possibly. The main issue is the lifespan of that mobile reactor. At current operation, it should last roughly 50 years. If we were to minimize the beacon's output, we could last roughly 500 years. Wow. But then I doubt anyone would find us. I agree. The odds of someone discovering us would be quite low. But what if someone knew to look? If they wouldn't give up on looking? Captain Rhodes. Yeah. Exactly. If we hibernate until 2537... She will search for us once we fail to return. In fact, if we altered the beacon's message to one she would uniquely recognize... And time its broadcast Morning, to resume sunshine. when she would start searching. Then we should be easily found. Yeah. With power to spare. Yeah. Pausing beacon now. I'll set it to resume shortly after when we would have disappeared. Beacon set. The next time we awaken, it should be due to Captain Rhodes having received our message. I hope so. Initiate hibernation when you're ready. Cube set. Watch me, man. Watch my back, buddy. I'm going to sleep. Apollo, I hope this works, man. I hope this works. Hibernation protocol beginning now. Like live. Apollo, this is too early. Jack, 
Listen. Message to all colonies. Do not, I repeat, do not attempt passage to Earth. Any and all traveling vessels avert course to your nearest off-world settlement. All passage to and from Earth is prohibited until further notice. Yeah, that's the good. It's a distress call from Earth. And not the only one. I'm intercepting countless transmissions from ships disobeying orders. Oh shit. Fleeing Earth. The infection is spreading. Indeed. Shit. The outbreak is already well underway. Great. We should conserve energy, Jack. Reinitiate hibernation when you're ready. Come on. Hibernation protocol initiating now. Apollo, don't wake me until it's lit. Holy shit. We're old enough to drink now. Line. Happening. We're passing through a debris cloud. It is mostly comprised of smaller particulates of rock and ice. But sensors indicate a denser cluster on the collision course. What? How long before it reaches our position? We have approximately 20 seconds before impact. However, the trajectory places the affected area outside our immediate position. We will experience some impact tremors, but this bay should provide adequate protection. I hope. Why can't you let me out, dude? Impact imminent. Collision imminent. Three, two, oh, shit. one. Here it comes. Too bad. Damage to the activation bay. What was that? You were saying? The impact appears to have <laughs> destroyed the mobile reactor. Great. What are our options with limited power? I now estimate we will fall short of reaching Dr. Harlan's time by nearly a century. Our only option now is to initiate a complete shutdown. Jeez. To leave all remaining power for the beacon when it restarts in Harlan's time. Wow. A complete shutdown would cause all non-essential data to be purged. Yes, but I should be able to preserve your critical memory banks, including the biomass data imprint. I hope. But as long as the distress call reaches the doctor and captain, they can retrieve this shell and transfer your preserved memory core. Okay. Good luck, Jack. Yeah. Disabling all non-essential subsystems. Alright. Goodbye. Goodbye, Apollo. 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 Don't leave me, buddy. Full shutdown. Shutting down. You got mail. That 
that's the spirit. What? Liv? Liv. I hear you. Initialize neural matrix transfer. Verify hardware connection. Okay. Mapping core protocols to target. Uh. The transfer should go much faster now that we finally isolated his core protocols. Atlas Intelligence Systems. Artificial nice. neural matrix version. Juno. Dot three, Live. One, two. Initialize boot sequence. I am. <gasps> Jack? Liv? Yeah, it's me. Everything's alright. Oh my god. You're back on Holland's ship. Holy shit! The scan data, did you? Yeah, we got it. Dr. Harlan is already in the lab developing a countermeasure. Been up there for hours now. I think you gave him a lot to unpack. Nice. You did good, Jack. Come on out. We'll see how it's going. Popcorn. Juno. I'm so glad to see you, buddy. I know. You thought I wasn't coming back? Yeah. So did I. I was almost okay, you know? With being stuck in this crappy future. So long as it was you and me. Right. But when I saw that FTL burn out, and you didn't come back, just... Don't ever do that to me again. I'll do my best. I know, Liv. Stand by. I'll unseal the door. Affirmative. Stand by. Apollo. What's up, buddy? We're back. Dr. Harlan. Ah. You're here. I am. Surprisingly, yes. Ah. Uh, well, you've been nothing if not surprising. Where are we on the cure? I was right. The data your android retrieved from the past was precisely what we needed to complete the gene sequence. Nice. We're running one more test to be sure. But I think we may have a solution. That was fast. From where I'm sitting, it's about four centuries overdue. Yeah. I would think by now we can all agree time is a relative construct. That's right. What's that? New parameters are set. We're ready to run the next test. Do it. Give me real time status for the parameters. Four percent. Nice. Treatment successful. It worked. It worked. Hell yes. Just like that. It's right there on the monitor. Zero metabolic activity. Good shit, Doc. We did it. Congratulations, Doctor. Popcorn. We should refrain from celebrating just yet. We still need to determine how the treatment affects human subjects. Yeah. You really think there's that big of a risk? It's possible. Yeah. We can't know for certain until we conduct a proper test. Apollo's right. We need to run a human trial. Juno, prep the bio bed. I'll feed you the parameters. Affirmative, Doctor. Wait. What do you think you're doing? Taking my medicine. Shouldn't we at least discuss it first? There is no discussion. I have to be the one. Chasing down this cure has been my life's work. Right. And if something goes wrong, we're going to need your brain to fix it. Captain Rhodes is right, Doctor. If you die, no one here would be able to carry on your work. It's got to be me. Liv? I agree. Liv is the more rational choice. However, 
Under the circumstances, I find myself compelled to ignore rationality. It's okay, Jack. Liv. This is the right call. Do not retract the emitari. Tell me how this is going to work. We expose the biomass in your system to a low level energy pulse of a very specific Liv. wavelength. Absorbing this energy will effectively terminate the biomass's metabolic processes, causing it to wither and die. Think of it like a self-destruct command embedded in the biomass's base DNA. Liv, I don't like this. It, knew what they were creating and wanted a way to stop it if it ever got out of control. Is this going to hurt? If I said yes, would it change your mind? Okay. Let's do it. I want to take a moment to triple check the math before we begin. Whatever you have to do. Liv. I'll let you know when we are ready. Are you sure about this? Juno? Yes, of course. Jack? Yeah. Come here. Give me your hand. It's okay to be scared. I'm scared. Was that intended for you or me? Yes. Jack, look at me. This is going to work. Yeah, it better. <laughs> oh God, now don't you start. Go on. It will be all right. Captain Rhodes, we're ready if you are. I'm good. Liv. Let's go. I'll be right here, all right? I'm not okay. going anywhere. Initiating counterpass mission. No. Oh. You all right? Liv. It's all right. I'm okay. Vital signs are stable. Metabolic pathways in the infected cells are failing. It's, it's going down, Doc. Oh. Cellular saturation in 10 seconds. Liv, are you alright? Are all you right? sure you're alright? Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. Let me know if something Five doesn't seconds. feel right. Three, two, one. That's it. Put it down. Zero percent. Liv, are you alright? I'll say one thing. I'm never going to complain about those fabricators again. Well, what's the story? Did it work? Go ahead. Tell her. Infection cleared. Oh, my God. All traces of the biomass forms have been neutralized. Nice. Apollo, is it acceptable to celebrate now? It certainly appears so, yes. Harlan, I... Thank you. Uh. Yes. Well, uh... Good, then. <laughs> you weren't expecting so that. we are just floating here, do you mind if we keep walking? <laughs> now that we know the counterpass works, we should start working on better ways to administer it. Uh, Harlan? We'll need both focused and wild special methods. Dr. Harlan. Yes. Corrupt some schematics and feed them to the fabricators. I already have a number of ideas that I think Dr. Could Harlan. What? The treatment, Harlan. You still have to undergo the procedure. Right. Yes, of course. Juno, can you prep the bed for another dispersion? It's already done. Very well. Were you just gonna not even get the cure, buddy? Would you like Jack to hold your hand as well? Start the procedure. <laughs> Very well. I'll hold it. Stand by. You alright, dude? Helen, are you alright? <clears throat> Juno. What's wrong? Vitals nominal. Blood pressure slightly elevated, but still within acceptable limits. <clears throat> Harlan. Heart rate 103 and rising. Harlan? Keep going. Harlan. Blood pressure spiking. Ten seconds to cellular saturation. Something's wrong. Something's wrong. Five seconds. Three. It's not going two, down. One. 
Shut down. Final stabilizing. Uh, well, I've had worse experiences. Though at the moment I can't really think of any. Holland. Harlan. What? Captain Rhodes? What is it? What's wrong? It didn't work. The biomass survived the treatment. Harlan. I... Juno, get me out of here. I'll reset the biobat. We can try again. No. Perhaps the metrics were somehow altered between the two tests. Juno. Or maybe some cases simply require more than one cycle before clearing. Juno? Stop. This isn't right. The treatment should have cleared both of us. Apollo. Yes, Doctor. The biomass sample we were testing earlier, where was it from? That particular sample was extracted from the wreckage of the Astraea. So it was the more primitive strain. That is correct. I need a specimen from this time period. Something off the station. I believe there is a sample from the research facility already seated in the cradle. Rotate the sample into position. What? Affirmative. So the older sample? Run the test again. Same parameters as before. Understood. Ready to execute. Do it. It's going back up. It's working. The sample is withering. Wait. Wait. Nope. Treatment ineffective. Yeah. You don't say. Apollo, analysis. I'm still parsing the data, but it would appear the treatment only managed to temporarily suspend the biomass's metabolic pathways, rather than terminate them. The future strains resisting the treatment? Correct. The treatment eliminates the biomass from the past. What? But any form from this time period, it will only paralyze. Though at the moment, I can only speculate as to why this might be the case. It's because it evolved. The biomass in the Astrea is still developing. Right. Still vulnerable. But the strain from this time period is has been running rampant for four centuries. Nora was right. There really is no stopping it. Wow. The biomass really evolves that quickly. That's practically its defining characteristic. Well, that and its tendency to indiscriminately devour everything it touches. Right. So that's it. We failed. No. 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 What? We didn't fail. Harlan? Does he want us to follow him? I have no idea. But I'm going to. Harlan, where are you going, buddy? Harlan? Liv. What is it? So impossible without a working FTL. For that plan to work, Jack would have to physically bring a counterpulse device back with him. Something he can't do digitally. I'm not talking about digital time travel. What? Oh. Oh, I see. What? Where have I seen this before? I believe that is one of the Estrella's FTL drives. I recall seeing a number of them while retrieving the fuel cell from the wreckage. What do you think, Apollo? Could it work? I'll need to run some models. I'm still lost. It's possible. What the hell are you two on about? I'll explain everything once Jack and I are on our way to the Astrea. You best get moving. Hold on! No one's going anywhere until one of you gives me something resembling an explanation. Captain Rose. No, if you want to send Jack back out to that plague-infested garbage scout, you have to at least give a reason. But the longer we wait, the less chance we have to succeed. 
Captain, I... Uh, I know I already asked far too much of you both, but I have taken this as far as it can go. I need your help to finish it. Wow. Oh. What do you need us to do? Jack, you and I will make our way back to the Australia's drive bay. You'll need my assistance to unlock the FTL housing. Captain Rose, if you would remain here with Dr. Harlan, there's some specialized equipment you'll need to fabricate and assemble. Oh. Brilliant. Opening airlock. All right. What is it, Jack? That's right, Jack. Nothing from you? Okay, then. Alright. Leave. Jack. Yeah. Good luck. Let us know when you've reached the Astrea. Copy that. Yes, sir. Airlock cycling. Stand by. That took forever. Harlan's coming out. around. Don't let those ticks be too much of I'm sure I'll be fine. Yeah, I know. Just like reminding you to be careful. So, be careful. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, hi. I see you. And before you ask, yes. That's an order. Yes, ma'am. Alright, Apollo. You ready to do this, bro? Exiting port side airlock. We need to make our way back to the Astrea, to the auxiliary drive bay. I'm going there first. get to that so Australia wreckage I need to keep moving out into the debris field now just get that FTL and get back here quick as you can yes no ma'am agreed all right let's assume this works let's say you two track down a working FTL yeah we get it hooked up, and Apollo manages to recreate a physical time jump that, by some miracle, sends us back home to our own time. How exactly are we supposed to be able to biomass one for that? I mean, it's not like we can just set up a bomb and blow it all to smithereens. That's exactly what we're planning to do. Yeah, bitches, now what? Well, not a bomb so much as a device that will unleash a sudden and forcible burst of energy across a widespread area. So... Who else want it? A bomb. Yes, a bomb. That's what but I thought, bitches. But one that emits a counterpulse that should only be harmful to the biomass. Brilliant. I am a tactical AI. Most of my solutions tend to involve some form of explosion. Uh-huh. How will we make this device? I mean, I could do it. But my hands are a bit tied at the moment. I can easily repurpose existing equipment to construct a counterpulse dispersion catalyst. A uh, cure bomb. Very well. Cure bomb. We will also need a means of transport, ideally one that can regulate the catalyst's energy signature. The cargo drones should be more than capable assembling the materials. Wait, here. what? Excellent. I will transmit the details. Wait a second. How is Jack to meet shut my shit down. to work in the past without the fabricator network? My design for our makeshift transport includes a single fabricator to accommodate Let's get rid of those. for the duration of our mission. Once we've detonated the catalyst and are out of danger, we can address reintegrating Jack's protocols into an Atlas network. Assuming all this goes to plan. Well, yes. It would be rather difficult to operate on the opposite assumption. Oh, 
Come on. There we go. Nice. Hit you with the cure, bitches. Shit. Shields at fifty percent. Range these fuckers. Come on. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Let's fucking get it. Come on. Shields at ninety five percent. Turning ticks in this bitch. I've reached the drive bay. Nice. How's it looking there? More or less how we expected. Not bad, is it? Jack, the removal process will require access to several mechanisms throughout the drive bay. Any live ticks in the area will undoubtedly make our job that much more yep. difficult. Understood. I'll clear them out. Our aim is to locate a viable LTL drive. We need one that Let's is suitably infected with biomass, but not to the extent that it is overrun. The ah. An accurate, if somewhat antiquated metaphor. Once we find a suitable drive, we'll need to remove it from its housing and extract it Come via on. the corresponding service port. The removal process is no easy task, but I can walk you through the procedure. All clear, Apollo. Acknowledged. Now then, we should start by identifying any FTLs that are still extractable. Look for drives whose locking pins are largely clear of biomass at the upper and lower extremities. Understood. Get rid of these, uh, I'll see if there's spores. a drive that's clear enough to move. Anyone able to cross their fingers, do it now. Thank you, Popcorn. What a wait, what am I doing? Here. All right, what am I doing? Inspect FTL drive locking pins to locate a pair of free biomen. Where? Some biomass is present, but not enough to impede the locking pins. Reaction. Is that as dodgy as it sounds? Priming the drive is a fairly standard procedure. Moving a drive after it's been primed is most certainly not. How do we start the procedure? The drive controls are offline. You'll need to initiate the process manually. Wow. Look for an access panel on the side of the FTL drive. Got it. Access panel located. You'll have to cut your way in. Hold the lever inside and the drive will begin priming. Once the injection process is complete, I will funnel all remaining power in the drive bay to the FTL. Drive priming initiated. You did, motherfucker. Injection complete. I will now attempt to create a sustained reaction by applying any remaining power. Step by. Yes, sir. Sustained reaction achieved. 
We're ready to remove the drive. Right. Outstanding. What's next, Apollo? The FTL drive is held in place by locking mechanisms at its upper and lower extremities. They must be manually released before the drive can be removed. All right. Got it. I'll release the locks. The release mechanisms are housed within the drive moorings at both the top and bottom of the chamber. You'll need to cut your way in. Understood. Where? Up there. Where can I cut myself in? Cutting? Uh, I ain't getting in that way. The drive's locking mechanism is inside this housing? Correct. You'll need to cut through to open the cover. I've gained access to the drive locking mechanisms. The release control is located on the drive itself. I got something for y'all bitches. Mechanism released. Good. Once you release the upper lock, the drive should come free. Nice. I hear you. Is there any more? I don't hear no more. so you can complete the removal procedure. Let's do this, bitch. The controls will allow you to position the drive so it can be easily removed via cargo drone. This terminal appears to have exceeded its purpose. The terminal you need should still be operational. It is oriented to face our charged FTL drive. Got it. Let's do this. Just... 
Ain't that some bullshit? Tick threat neutralized. FTL drive is ready to be extracted. Good work, Jack. Drones are on the way. Nice. Copy that. Range, you will be forced to reboot. If you have any remaining tasks you'd like to address, this is your final opportunity. Right. Yes, I believe I could use a little more time. There's still more of the station I'd like to investigate. Certainly. Nice. In the meantime, we will continue our preparations. Sound. Just come let us know when you're all squared. Access hash. First, I need a charging bay. Right there. Get this hatch. Get our uh, shield up. Where are those ticks? All oh, right. All right, I'm ready. Let's begin. You heard him. Let's get to work. What am I doing? Very well. Moving FTL into position. Everyone, keep clear. Will do. Clamps are set. Bring her in. How are you feeling? Better, actually. It's weird. I didn't notice how much the infection was affecting me until I was rid of yeah. it. Imagine if the disease had had time to progress. Uh, I'd really rather not. Like for this guy.
drive secured. Confirmed. Connection established. The FTL is now linked to the station's power grid. Breathing vigorous biomass activity within the drive. The infection is feeding off the FTL's energy field. I assume that's good. It's expected. Begin diagnostic and compatibility check. Verify functionality of all drive components. So... This should only take a moment. No problem. We'll just sit here in nervous anticipation. All right. Very well. I will admit, this arrangement feels decidedly less secure than our last jump yeah. in time. He has a point, Apollo. You basically have us riding a literal time bomb into Pretty time. much. Mind-bendingly awesome as that might sound, you are sure this is going to work, right? The odds of success are surprisingly favorable, especially when one considers all the variables at play. Who is the work with that? Diagnostic and compatibility check complete. Stand by while I reconfigure the FTL's drive settings to mirror the exact conditions that first sent the Estrella back in time. Right. Dr. Harlan? Yes. We are to talk to you. I know. Well, I guess this is it. So it would seem. Captain, I... I want to say I'm sorry. I was wrong to keep you in the dark as long as I did. Perhaps if I trusted you sooner. In any case, I hope you can forgive me. Though I don't expect you to. I think she will. Right. Well, goodbye. Uh, Dr. Harlan, thank you. What you're doing here, you should be proud of you. Absolutely. She'd be angry with me. <laughs> Stop. Yeah, probably. But she'd still be proud. Thank you. Both of you. For helping me put an end to this. We will. Doctor, we should really be going. Yes. All right. Good luck, Doctor. To all of us. FTL settings configured. As soon as the doctor is clear, we can begin spinning up the drive. Farewell, Captain Rouse. Take care of him, Gina. Of course. Popcorn. Always. Goodbye, Jack. I will make sure to permanently archive all of the time we have spent together. Good. I'll miss you too, Juno. Good luck saving your timeline. Popcorn? All right, it's okay. Well, what do you say, Jack? You ready for this? As ready as I'm gonna be. I am if you are. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be fun. Well, Apollo, we are clear. Very well. Commencing final jump prep. Popcorn, hold on, buddy. Listen. What? I realized I never properly thanked you. For what? For, well, everything. You don't have to thank me, Liv. You'd have done the same for me. Uh, hibernating for four centuries might have been a bit tricky for me to put yeah. on. You'd have found you would have found a way. FTL spin up complete. Drive reports green. Remember, you need to trigger the device before the Itaka reaches the infected zone. That should be enough to alter the course of events, prevent the biomass from spreading. Understood. We'll get it done. Yes, sir. Transferring manual control to transport. Ready to execute jump. Godspeed. We'll miss you guys. All right, Jack. We could have did that a little better. You ready? On three. On you, Jack. Three, two, popcorn, hold on. One. FTL engaged. Are you in a two? Yes. Jumping. Yes, ma'am. Two. Here we go. 